Hey friends, so we're gonna go now prepare your PC with everything that you need in order for you to start practicing SQL with me using SQL Server and of course everything is for free. Okay, so now go to the link in the description and you will land here in my newsletter website and you can subscribe if you want to get weekly news about my contents. I make as well posts about data and many other projects. So once you do that, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go to the downloads over here and you will find here all the materials of different courses and the one that we want is SQL Ultimate Course. Let's go over here. Now, once you do that, you will land to this page where I have listed all the important links. So the first one and the most important one is to go and download the course materials. Here you can find everything, code, the slides, the presentations, the whole course. Or if you don't want that, you can go to my Get repository and there you will find exactly the same materials. So let's go and download everything. Okay, so now go and put the downloaded folder somewhere safe and let's go inside it. And here you can find three things. The first one is the data set. Here, if you go inside it, you will find the data for the course, the databases that we will be using in order to practice SQL. So everything is available here. Now, the second folder, you can find all the documentations. So that means all the visuals, the presentation, slides, everything that I present during the course, it is available here as a documentation notes for you. Now, moving on to the third one, we have the scripts. So during the course, we will be writing a lot of SQL codes and all those codes are here available. So that means those are all the codes that is used in the course okay so with that you have now all the course materials all right so now the next step is that we have to go and download the sql server express and you can find the link as well over here so let's go there sql server express and now we're gonna land on the microsoft page where we can see the different offering from microsoft for sql server so either we have it on the azure or we can download it on the on-premises but we don't want those stuff just scroll down to see those two options so the first option on the left side we have the developer edition you will get all the features and services that Microsoft offers with the SQL Server. It is as well free, but the installation here is a little bit complicated. But in the second option on the right side, we have the Express Edition. Installation here is going to be really fast and very easy. You will get as well all the stuff that you need for practicing SQL and learn SQL. So both of the options are free. It's just a matter of the installation. We will go now for the Express Edition. So go and click download now. And it's very small file. So let's go and start it. And now the installation gonna start so we have basic custom and download media so download media means download now and later we're gonna do the installation custom means we have more control on how to download and install the stuff the basic is the easiest one and the quickest one so let's go with the basics and click on that and let's go and accept all those stuff and now let's click on install so now we're gonna install the applications drivers and so on it may take a little bit time So in order to do that, let's go and click on install SSMS. So let's click on that. And as well, we can find the link over here. So let's go to SQL Server Management Studio. So let's click on that. You can find, of course, this link as well with the other links that I have collected. So now we are again at Microsoft page. Let's go scroll down and now we will see the following link free download for SQL Server Management Studio SSMS. So let's go and click on that and then it's going to go and download it. Let's go and start it. So the first thing that we have to define the location, I will go with the default stuff. So let's click on install. Okay, setup completed. We just installed SM SSMS. So let's go and close it. So now let's go and start it. If you go to your menu over here, search for SQL Server and you will find it here, SQL Server Management Studio. Let's go and start it. Okay, so now we're going to get this window in order to connect to our server. So again, what is our server? It is the one we have installed at the first step, SQL Server Express. And that's why you're going to see in the server name, your PC name, of course, like it's not going to be my PC name, but here we have something called SQL Express. This is the server we just installed. So in the first option, we have database engines, we have reporting services. Those are different stuff from Microsoft. We're going to leave it as a database engine and it should be like this SQL Express. Now, how to access this database? We have the following stuff. We can do that using the window authentications or SQL Server authentications. I'm going to say that let's stick with the window authentication. And the username gonna be the PC name and as well the window user. If you don't have it for some reason, those informations, you can go to your search, search for CMD. And then here you can say, who am I? 
and with that you will get the pc name and as well the user that you are currently logged in and this is exactly what i'm seeing over here one more thing if you're having issue connecting to your database make sure to check the encryption it should be mandatory and to click on the trust server certificates so once you do that you will be able to connect okay so with that we have the server we have the client and now the last step we have to go and create the database we want to insert our data so now if you look to the object explorer and open the databases you can see that we don't have any database so now let's do something about it go back to the course materials inside the data sets you will find the following you will find we have here three folders mysql postgres and sql server so if you want to follow with this course using different database like mysql and postgres you can find the exact same data for the database that you are using but now in this course we are using the sql server so if you're following me with that go inside the sql server folder and here you will find four files with different extensions so what is going on here now for this course we have two databases one that is very simple called my database and second one that has more tables called sales db and now in sql server there are multiple ways on how to create databases i will show you now two methods on how to create the database now the first option we want to create the database from a script and if you look to those files we have here two files with the extension dot sql those are files with sql code so let's start with the first one the init sql server my database dot sql go inside it and now here we have the sql code copy everything and now let's go back to our studio and then go to the menu and click on new query and here in the middle you can paste the code so now we have the code for the first database and all what you have to do is to go and execute it so once we execute it you will see you will not get any error and now on the left side we don't see yet our database because we have to refresh so right click on the databases and click refresh and now you can see it my database so now let's see the content go extend it and then go extend the tables and now you see here our two tables customers and orders inside those tables we can find our data in order to see the data right click for example on the customers and let's go with the option select top 1000 rows once you do that you can see now in the results we have here five customers this is our data inside the table customers so here again about the interface on the left side we have the object explorer where you can see the whole structure of the database from server to databases to tables so you can see the whole structure on the top we have a menu with a lot of icons and then in the middle, this place here, we call it the SQL editor. We're going to go and write there SQL codes. And then once you execute it at the bottom, you will get the result and messages. And below the SQL editor, we have the output. So here you can see, for example, the data, the results or different messages from the database. So the interface is very simple. Now we have to go and get our second database. So if you go back to our files, you can find a second SQL file, the init SQL server sales DB dot SQL. Open that and let's go and copy everything here and let's go back to our studio same thing you have to go and create a new query then paste the whole code and this database is about the sales db so let's go and execute it and with that we will not get any errors and now we go to the left side and we do the same thing refresh and we can see the second database sales db now you can go and explore it so extend it go to the tables and here you can see five tables customers employees orders products so here this is the intermediate database for our course so now let's go and check our data for example let's go to the orders right click on it and select top 1000 and those are the orders of our database perfect so everything is working so those are the main two databases that we will be working through the whole course and of course if you want to go and practice using another database it's totally fine for example in microsoft there are a database called adventure works it is really amazing and i'm gonna show you now how to import it we can go over here the adventure works so let's click on this link so now we are again in microsoft page if you scroll down you can see here three different types of databases the OLTP data warehouse and lightweight so they are like different databases the OLTP is the most like complicated one a lot of tables and transactions and so on the data warehouse it is like really nice one in order to do data analysis and stuff the lightweight it is the simplest one so let's go for example and get the data warehouse so click on that and now as you can see the extension of this file is .bak and now I'm going to show you the second way on how to create databases 
in SQL Server. So now all what you have to do is to go to the following path. It really depends where you have installed the SQL Server. So for me, I have installed it in the program files, Microsoft SQL Server, MS SQL, SQL Express, then MS SQL Backup. You have to go there. So here what you can do, you're going to place all the files with the extension BAK. So for example, the adventure works that we just installed. This is a backup file for the database and we want to go and restore it. And with that, you are creating like a database. So this is the second method on how to create databases in SQL Server by restoring the database. If for some reason the script didn't work for you. Now, let me show you quickly how we can do that. Let's go back to our studio, right click on the database. And then here we have an option called restore database. Click on that. And now here we have two options under the source database and device. The default going to be database, but we have to switch to a device because we want to import it from files. And then we go to the three dots, click on that. And now we have to go to the option add. And now it's going to take you to the place where the SQL server creates backups. So here we can find our files. And what we want here to create is the adventure works. Select that, then OK. One more OK and one final OK. So now the database will be restored and it is successfully. So now on the left side, we can see our third database. If you don't see it, go and refresh, of course. And here you will find a lot of tables in the individual works. And as usual, you can go and explore the data by selecting top thousand rows. So my friends, now you have three databases. But of course, our focus is only the first two that we have done, my database and SalesDB. And with that, I have learned two ways on how to import databases into SQL Server. So with that, my friends, we have prepared everything. We have the SQL Server Express running on your local PC. We have the Studio, the clients, where we're going to use it in order to interact with the database and we have created our two databases that we will be using in order to practice SQL. So we are ready. All right, my friends. So with that, we are done with the first chapter. We have our introduction to SQL and now we're going to start learning the first thing in SQL and that is how to query our data. So let's go and start with that.